Hey, hi, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Cassie and today you're gonna cook with me. We're gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna make some guacamole. I've been perfecting this recipe before I share it with you so it is hot fire flame. And I'm also going to make steak skewers with some bell peppers and onions which are also delish. Right now we're just gonna go ahead and get that steak marinating and get the skewers soaking in some water. It is about 2.30. I'm planning on grilling them at like 5 so they're gonna marinate for like a couple hours and I'm also gonna leave them out so that the steak becomes room temperature. I just noticed that I get a better softer falling apart in my mouth steak when I do that. We're gonna just go ahead and get started with that. So I tend to just use seasoning kits for my steak just because it's easy it's good it just makes things more simple and I'm all about simple so this time we're gonna use this Brazilian steakhouse seasoning from girl meats this is the steak so we're using some beef top sirloin steak we're just going to mix this up with some oil and water I don't add the red wine when vinegar which might make a difference might not I'm not really sure I just go ahead and mix the whole pack in a bowl and then I'm gonna pour it over the steaks and then we're gonna go ahead and cut up the steaks into little cubes that will go on the skewers. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch. So we have our steak all cut up into cubes. As you see, you try to make them as much the same size as you can. And now we're gonna go ahead and the marinade all over them. So now that we did that, we're just gonna go ahead and cover it with some aluminum foil. And like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and set this out so that the steaks will be room temperature by the time that we are grilling them. Then we're gonna put some water in a casserole dish or like something that you'll be able to soak the skewers in and add the skewers in here to let them sit too while the steak's marinating. That's all we're gonna do right now. I'll see you in a few hours. And I'm just gonna make the guac now before I prep the skewers. It usually takes me maybe like less than 10 minutes to make it. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients I use and then I eyeball it, but I will put a recipe with like guesstimating how much I'm using of each thing in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. And take me Okay, so now we, we gotta taste it. Usually I end up having to add like a teeny bit more pepper and salt, but we'll see. Gotta get out our chips. I'm gonna add a teensy bit more pepper and salt, so. 
So I usually like to add one and a half to two jalapenos, but my husband doesn't like it that spicy. So we just went with one. If you don't like spice at all, you could always like take the seeds out of the jalapenos and you can also add cilantro. I'm just not a cilantro person and I did make it a couple times with cilantro and I just couldn't stand when I got the bites that had cilantro in them. I never liked guac until I made it homemade and avocados aren't my biggest like thing either. But this recipe and making it at home, it was a game changer. Now I freaking love it. I wouldn't say I put it on everything but like with chips your girl's a sucker for some guac now we're gonna go ahead and move on to prepping the skewers because it is 440 and so I'm gonna cook the on the grill at about 350 I preheat it and then I clean off the grill because I usually clean it off before I cook we'll cook it at about 350 We have all of our veggies cut and the steak has been marinated. We're gonna go ahead and build the skewers. I'm gonna go head out and turn the grill on. Like I said, make sure you preheat it to like 350, 400. So then we I'm gonna go where my heart is. From now on, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna show that I got this love, 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 love. Uh. gonna set a three minute timer and then we're gonna come and flip them and do another three minute timer and then we're gonna check them out because these really cook pretty quick because they're so small like chunks of meat it is at like 400 right now which isn't like the best but we're gonna just rock with it because that's where it's at I'm still learning on how to keep this grill down low I'm not like I wasn't a huge griller for a long time we didn't have a grill and there's a long time that I was like fearful of red meat because of my fitness journey and I'm so glad that I got through that because now I'm eating burgers and steak and all the great red meat and I'm loving it it's like what I crave all the time so I'm gonna let this cook and then we'll flip it cook dinner with me vlog I am gonna try some and tell you how they turned out it's probably really hot oh my god it's freaking amazing I did end up leaving them on for probably a total of 10 minutes but I'm about to go eat this delicious dinner if you want the rest of the description below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new recipe a new vlog a new workout all the goodies I look forward to seeing you next time